We're going to take a look at one more example here using the index and match functions that we just discussed. Now, I'm back inside the exercise file. I'm looking at the VLOOKUP function worksheet, but we're going to mess this up so that we can see how we can replace the VLOOKUP and overcome another limitation. We're kind of more of a, a nuisance on our part uh, and how we can use the index and match to help us out here. Now, hopefully you got some practice. You went through and completed the last name, department, and pay rate. I am going to delete those out, all that hard work. So again, I'm back on the VLOOKUP function worksheet. I'll grab D3 to F18, delete. Let's get rid of them. Now, I still got first name there because I want to demonstrate something here. And this is, I'm going to demonstrate this because this is why we're going to use the VLOOKUP or we're going to use the index and match function. Okay. So the first one I got, first name, Howard. It went and found 1054, searched for it, returned first name back to me, Howard, for that employee ID. Great. I copy that down. I've got all of the employees, all their first names. Now, I want to get last name department and pay rate. Well, if I drag that to the right, oh, wait, Howard's still there. What's happening here? I want department. Still Howard. Pay rate. Ah, still Howard. Right? I don't want that. What's happening? When I drag this over here, I look at the formula here. It's just opening up inside the FX window. The column index num, this number three here, this is a static value. That value is not changing. Remember, that number, it represents which column first name is found within. Master employee list, column number one, two, three is where first name's at. So if I wanted to continue using VLOOKUP, I would have to go to this formula, wipe out the number three, change that to, I think it was number two. Yep, Smith, Howard Smith, because last name is in the second column. Well, department is in the one, two, three, fourth column, and pay rate is in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's in the ninth column. So I can come over here, drag this over, but then I'd have to edit both of these formulas. This is the number four, because department's in the fourth column. This one is number nine. Pay rate was in the ninth column. That's a hassle. I mean, it's not that big of a hassle. It takes me, you know, a little bit of time to fix. But imagine this. I'm going to get rid of all of these except for the first one. Imagine creating one formula, dragging that down, dragging it to the right, and it would do it all for you. This is where the index and match really shines. Nesting these two together, we can complete this entire table in one formula. Ready for this? Here we go. All right, I'm gonna delete that out. Let's just keep the employee IDs, that's it. So I'm gonna to go to cell C3. I'm gonna start this out by using, utilizing the index function. Equals index, open parentheses. Now to make this more visual, I'll hit the FX button. I'm gonna use the first option there for the index. And here we go. All right, so now, the first time we do this formula, we're thinking of first name. That's what I want to get here. But we need to keep in mind that eventually I want to get it for every employee ID, right? Be able to drag that formula down. But then I also want to be able to drag this to the right and get their last names, departments, and pay rates without any edits on my part. All right. So we need to keep that in mind as we're building this function here, copying, autofilling this function, this calculation. Well, this calculation, it's gonna be pretty involved. There's gonna be a lot of little pieces moving around here. So pause, rewind if you need to, whatever, right? Get some practice. That's that's what really, really important here. Now watch the video, get a, get a grasp of what we're doing here and then practice it. Okay. All right, first step, the array. Where are we gonna search? Well, for my array in the initial index function, I'm gonna to go to master employee list and I'm actually gonna grab the entire list from A1, Control shift down arrow, control shift right arrow, all the way down to I38. Let's get the entire, entire list. Then I want to lock that down. Because remember, F4, A1 to I38 is now absolute. Remember, we want to copy this formula, so I don't want that range to change. It should be an absolute reference. Now the row num. Here's where it gets tricky, right? 
the row number, I don't know what the row number is. I can't tell it, oh, get row number five or get row number 10, because that's based on the ID over here. So this is where we bring the match in again. We did this earlier. So I go to my row num, I'm gonna type in match, open parentheses, and if I come up here, click on match, bring me into the match arguments. Now remember, if you're on a Mac, you click on match, and then you hit the FX button, and your little panel on the right will change to the match. All right, lookup value. Ultimately, we want first name back, but in order for us to get first name, we are gonna get the employee ID, which is inside cell B3. Now for that one, I am going to F4 a couple times. I want to lock the column, but not the row. So it'll be dollar sign B3. All right, the lookup array. I'm going to click into the lookup array there. I'm going to go down into the master list, and I'm going to grab from A1 down to A38, and I am going to lock that entire thing, F4. Now, if your F4 key isn't working, you can always type the dollar signs in manually. Just remember you're locking the column and the row in both of these references, A1 to A38, lock it down. Now, match type, if you want the exact match, remember this is the match function, a bit different than the VLOOKUP. We're gonna put a zero in there. Cool. All right, next thing, I'm gonna go back to index. Remember, if you're on a Mac, you hit the FX button after you click in the function. I'm gonna go to column num, now we didn't use this one earlier. Remember our initial array is the complete list. It's from A1 to I38. So it's got multiple rows, which we just handled, but it's got multiple columns. It's not just first name, but we want to get last name. We want to get department. We want to get pay rate, right? Not just first name. So column num, I'm going to bring in another match. Open up my parentheses there. I'm going to come up here, click on match. For the lookup value, First time around, first time around, we want C2, which is first name. And I'm gonna lock down a portion of that. I'm gonna lock down the row. Because we wanna drag this down, we don't want the row to change, but we wanna drag it to the right, and in that case, we want the column to change. The lookup array, I'm gonna go to master employee list. I'm gonna grab from A1 to I1, and I'm going to lock that down, F4. Match type, zero. We want the exact match. All right. This is exciting. It's, it's a bit going on in there. You can see this formula up here. It's a pretty decent sized formula, a bit going on. You know, I can close that last parentheses there. If I don't, it'll actually correct it for me, but I'm now done with that calculation. I'm gonna hit okay. There's Howard, 1054, that's Howard. I'll double click it, bring that down. Oh, I don't have anything in there, so I could drag that down. There's all the first names. One formula. I'm gonna drag it to the right. Take a look at this. And there's all the data. Howard Smith in the AT department, 1125 per pay rate. Completely done. I don't have to modify anything, created the formula once. Again, it's a decent sized formula with a bit moving inside there, but you nail that down, one formula, complete the entire table. Try this out, pause it, rewind it, get it all done, get that one formula and drag it, done.